okay, I'm not going to spend too much uh, with the introduction and all that stuff today because Hollywood's pretty hot, man. Hollywood's pretty hot here, and there is a big reason why I am hot. A couple days ago, Shaggy came on Black Dragon's channel and let everybody know what he thought about the Miklo interview. Well, if you go through the comments as I do and to gauge people's responses, if we did good on the show and all that stuff, there's a joker on there that basically... Is a joker. There's no other way to say that, but trying to disparage Shaggy and the Invaders Motorcycle Club. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh, Clay there, sauerkraut. You really do not know the United States and the motorcycle clubs that we have here. Hell, I, did, I haven't even heard of yours in Germany. So what does that say, Black Riders uh, Motorcycle Club? You really should check, guy. I'm just saying, I've never said that, but you really should check them. Let's go to the, some of the stuff of what he said that has me so upset. I'll start at the bottom, work our way up on this one. And again, this is from Klaus. I must raise some pertinent questions, like, who cares what questions you raise? Firstly, is Invaders MC a bona fide 1% motorcycle club? Do you had the nerve to go there. The Invaders MC has been around since 1965. And what's even more interesting, they started out of Gary, Indiana. That is a hellhole. Gary, Indiana is a hellhole. And that is where they started. Oh yeah, they're a bona fide 1% motorcycle club here. They went through the trial and tribulations like every other club that started in the 60s. But you wouldn't know that history because you're sitting there running amok with your mouth clown. Secondly, why does their patch feature a wandering cucumber atop a motorcycle? It's not a cucumber. It's the green monster. And in that it says gypsy. If... You actually took the time to actually go study the website before you go run off at the mouth. But you didn't. They ride where they want to ride. They do what they want to do. They're one of the more most premier clubs in the Midwest. Everybody's heard me talk about them. No, you over there hear about our bigger clubs. But you don't hear about the hardcore, smaller clubs that had to make their way. Now, why is it shared by another club? Where are you even coming from with that one? Is Shaggy's club the imitator or are they the originator of the patch? Shaggy should clarify these matters immediately. He don't have to clarify nothing to you. He doesn't have to speak about his club. His club speaks for itself. Clarify immediately. What the heck? You know, sometimes, maybe, I'm getting too old for this. I'm getting a little impatient with people because they make the stupidest statements that I've ever heard. See, the problem with you new jacks is you've been cuddled by your mommies for so long that you really don't understand what everything is about. You don't understand that uh, old school and new school my ass. This is the way it is. It's not cookies and ice cream. You're not going to get a popsicle. Get you off your mother's tit by the time you're 18, will you? This is the way it is. This is the way people think that are for real. We're not out there PC. We're not out there to really care what you think. 
Now he goes on. Shaggy, I must ask, did you or did you not have a conversation with Miklo over the phone? I am compelled to investigate. Who cares about your investigation? Who are you? You're from Germany. What's it, is your club involved in this now? Whether the invaders MC in collusion with the cohort of an allied club working al alongside chosen few MC superstitious one percent social media police infaction for for the road. For one, here's what I'm going to tell you about a true one percenter. They're not going to go out there and tell you who they talked about. And if there's a person who's sharing that conversation with another man, they ain't a true one percenter. People don't share that conversation. People don't need to know about that conversation. That conversation is between the two men. Not two men in the whole internet. And then you go and talk to the, about the chosen few? Are you stupid? Again, another storied MC. Very long roots into the past. So what, are you trying to start trouble or something? Is that where I'm getting at here? What? Both them clubs are storied. Both of them are old. Decades old. It is a matter of the utmost seriousness that requires our attention. You know, I don't know what it is if you got lost in translation or something here, but it sure to hell is not of the utmost seriousness. On one hand, Shaggy claims that the ethos of being a 1% is about rebellion, the middle finger to authority, and doing as one pleases. But on the other hand, Shaggy seems to suggest that the Iron Order Motorcycle Club is one such club that follows these principles. Huh. It's of the utmost seriousness that requires our attention. BD, before we proceed, I suggest we qu first question regarding the matter at hand. It is important to hear from him directly and understand his perspective. Hollywood's Motorcycle Madhouse on Spotify and iTunes Radio. He gave you his perspective in that video. What more needs to be said? Going to his other post. Again, I got that one from Black Dragon's video. To begin with, Shaggy's lengthy and median rant lacks substance and is at best overly academic. What, you a hooked on phonics dropout too? I'm just asking because you didn't get where he was coming from? Additionally, it's unclear which group he is represented in. Their own motorcycle and clubs, Invaders MC. He never represents his club on the internet. He never speaks for them on the internet. Or the cause that is being discussed for For the Road, which is the social media 1% policing. No, it isn't. It's not the social policing arm of the chosen few. There are all different members of clubs that write for Four for the Road. It's just not one club or another. And representing Shaggy works with NCOC. He goes around speaking on bikers' rights in his own personal involvement in the club world, he represents everybody, including independents, hog members, abate members. He represents everybody at the NCOM and COC level. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you? Klaus? Sound like Santa Claus. Ain't that where Santa Claus came? Thirdly, Shaggy's disrespectful tone towards the president of a smaller MC is unacceptable to a one percenter. 
Maybe over there in PC land over in Germany. Maybe it is over there. But over here in the United States, this is spot on. This is what men do who love their lifestyle here. He to have whatever tone he wants. I, it's difficult to believe that this behavior is coming from a reputable member of a club, even though the uh, Invaders MC has been around some time. Yeah, you changed it because I hit you on this one. You changed it around after I replied to this. Reputable member of a club? Who are you? Again, are you speaking to see it's Schwartzwald or Welter or Black Forest Riders? Are you speaking for them? Because you sure sh sign your club name down there. The patch on their club's past depicting a hobo pickled cucumber. Really? Riding a motorcycle is also perplexing. Well, let's see here. Is it perplexing how the Hell's Angels came up with theirs? Or the Outlaws? Or the Banditos? You guys are real confused over in Germany, aren't you? Maybe you are, because you got, I'm not going to even go political on this one. Not going to go political on this one. And boy, could I. Boy, could I. I just find it embarrassing that you would even go on and say some stuff like that, not knowing what the hell's going on here in the States. You have a different culture over there. Culture of appeasement. Where our one percenters and our clubs don't. They're real men. And he was taking a position that he believed in. And you're going to say, well, is he a reputable member? Every club in the States knows who he is. He works with some of the biggest organizations in the States. Then the claim that the chosen few has an arm in four for the road. Get out of here with that, man. At least they're trying to help. At least they're trying to keep something alive that they believe in. Let me know what you guys and gals think. I'm going to go to the second half of the show with China Dow and try to get this show upbeat after this one. Rock on. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. The world's motorcycle madhouse on Spotify and iTunes Radio. Join the Insane Throttles Members Only Club. Two ways to join over on Spotify and YouTube. Insane Throttle Biker News' channel, by the way. With your membership, you get exclusive content Monday through Friday China Dow's on there with me. Y'all love China Dow. Also, you get an invite to the yearly Rumble in the Woods where we get together, have parties, have fun. So make sure you join the Insane Throttles Members Only Club over on Spotify or YouTube. Rock on!